What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and today, today, we are back again for another episode of Road to Endgame. Um, in the last episode you guys saw, we did my number two favorite movie in the MCU. We talked about Captain America Civil War. We are just getting into phase three. Probably the most successful phase, I'd say, in the MCU. Um, that's just me. But because it's got two of the bigger, biggest bangers in Civil War and Infinity War. Again, that's just me. But today, you guys already know probably what we're talking about if you know how the MCU goes. We are talking about the Sorcerer Supreme Master of the Mystic Arts. I don't know how he does it. Um, Doctor Strange. That's what we're talking about today. Uh, if you guys are new, thank you all so much for clicking on the video, liking, commenting, subscribing. It means the absolute world to me. You guys have absolutely no idea. But if you are new, welcome. My name's Jack. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you don't know how it works, this is how we are going to do it. I am going to catch you all up. If you have not seen the other videos, go check out the playlist, but I will catch you up so you don't, you know, I'm not going to be mean. We'll catch you up with where we are at. Give you guys the synopsis. That's the next thing. I will tell you how it's rated on different rating websites, and then I will give my review. It'll be short and sweet. It's not going to be some big review. It's going to be short and sweet. We'll get it out. Um, tell you what I like, tell you what I didn't like. Then I will give you a ranking of where it is on my personal MCU list. And then after that, to finish it all off, we, I will tell you how it ties into the bigger picture of the MCU. Most importantly, how it ties in to Avengers Endgame. So, without further ado, again, thank you so much for checking out the video. Let's just hop right in to the catch-up. So to catch you guys all up, this is good. here we go. You've got Iron Man. That is my number five rated movie in the MCU. You have The Incredible Hulk at 21. You got Iron Man 2 at number 19, Thor at number 16, Cap the First Avenger at number 18. Ugh, some bad, bad, uh, bad apples there. But then we got the Avengers at number 4. Iron Man 3 at number 13 comes after Iron Man 3. Thor the Dark World at number 20. Captain America the Winter Soldier at number 3. Guardians of the Galaxy at number 7. Avengers Age Ultron at number 12. Ant-Man at number 11 and Captain America Civil War at number two. So, recap. We have one more movie in my top five that has not been revealed. We've got Iron Man at five, Avengers at four, Witch Soldier at three, Civil War at two. And we've got one more movie in my bottom six that has not been revealed. We got the Hulk at number 21, Thor the Dark World at number 20, Iron Man 2 at number 19, Captain America the First Avenger at number 18, and Thor at number 16. So there's one more movie that has not been revealed. That is my number 17. And then we got the middle of the road movies. There's still a lot in there we haven't talked about. But that's pretty much the catch up. Without further ado, let's just hop right in to the synopsis. All right, so basically with the synopsis, Dr. Stephen Strange, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, his life changes after a car accident robs him of the use of his hands. When traditional medicine fails him, he looks for healing and hope in a mysterious enclave. He quickly learns that the Enclave is at the front line of a battle against unseen dark forces bent on destroying reality. Before long, Strange is forced to choose between his life of fortune and status or leave it all behind to defend the world as the most powerful sorcerer in existence. 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb, 89% on Rotten Tomatoes, 72% on Metacritic. Now, I'm going to be very blunt with you. I'm not the biggest fan of this movie. It, it kind of follows the cookie-cutter, like, MCU origin story, but it's not the worst. Um, the writing was kind of iffy for me. I thought the story dragged a lot. Um, that's, like, my biggest concern with it is that it drags a lot. It gets very boring at times, um, and it just doesn't work with me. The action is okay. The action's okay. I found it interesting kind of working with the, the mystical. That was kind that was cool. I liked that. Um, being introduced to the soul, um, not the soul stone, the time stone, that was cool. All of the kind of mystic CGI effects on like cities and stuff, I thought was dope. I thought that was all cool. But in the terms of a movie, 
I didn't really enjoy it that much. I'm gonna be honest, I know that's gonna pain a lot of people. I know some people have it up a bit higher, but it's, it's mostly a middle of the road movie for a lot of people. So I think a lot of people will understand where I'm coming from. It follows that just regular, um, regular format. That's really what it does. It follows like the Iron Man origin format. And I just didn't like that. I wish they would have done something a little bit different. Again, the like mystical sorcery stuff is different. And I think that that was a bit of a redeeming factor. But in general, I think the writing was just kind of iffy. Um, and it just didn't work for me that well. There's not a lot for me to really say about it because it's like a middle of the road movie. It's an average movie for me. I, I don't hate it. I just don't love it. I think Benedict Cumberbatch, though, though, is perfect as Stephen Strange. And I think Benedict Wong is perfect as Wong. I think they're imperfect in their roles. I, I would have liked to see more of the ancient one. I feel like we didn't get a lot from her at all. And then she just dies. Maybe I didn't watch the movie close enough to really get much from her. She just didn't seem like she did much. She taught Steven some stuff. But you, you'd expect her to be some big badass, and she kind of just died from a big fall. It just didn't do it for me. I just didn't really enjoy it. Um, and yeah, it's really all I have to say about it. I, I like the redemption of Steven going from being like kind of an arrogant prick to being like, I need to say, like, I need to protect the world. I like that. It's a bit of a redemption. I think Dormammu was a bad villain. The villains were some of the most forgettable villains. Um, probably, they probably fall right in front of the Dark Elves from Thor: The Dark World. They, they're bad villains. They are. They, they are. I just like didn't like them. Um, yeah, and Dormammu, the way he beat Dormammu, it was smart, but it was like a cop out. It just seemed kind of like lazy writing, in my in my opinion. Um, but you know, it, it's. Take it, with, take it with a grain of salt. Go check it out yourself. You know, this is just my review, my personal opinion. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Doctor Strange. Did you love it? Did you like it? Let me know why. I, I'd love to have a conversation. I'm not saying it's a terrible movie. I just, there were things that just didn't do it for me. Um, but now I gotta tell you guys where it is on my ranking. Although I don't have prob that many problems with it, I don't like it, it still falls at number 17. So we have closed up the bottom six in the MCU. Incredible Hulk, Thor, The Dark World, Iron Man 2, Cap, The First Avenger, Doctor Strange, and Thor. It just didn't work with me. It just didn't. There's other, the movies above it, I just think are better movies. And a lot of people will probably agree with me on that. It's, it's, it's a good movie, it's just not great, honestly. And there's more bad than good, in my opinion. That's really where I stand with it. But how does it tie into Endgame? I'm glad you asked. So, or in the MCU, we're introduced to Stephen St Doctor Strange and his origins. It's the first big thing. We're introduced to Wong, the Ancient One. We learn of the world of mystic arts. We are we finally learn about that whole side of the of the universe. Um, it's the first time seeing the Eye of Agamotto, I believe is what it's called, and that houses the Time Stone. So it's our first time seeing the Time Stone. Bring, 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 bring Infinity Stone. There we go. That's the biggest thing to come out of this movie. It's like um, it's like Thor: The Dark World, except better. Where the only th big thing to come out of it was an Infinity Stone. Thor: The Dark World, you had the Ether. Doctor Strange, you have the Time Stone. Again, I think Doctor Strange is leaps and bounds a better movie than Thor: The Dark World. I think that movie's trash. But really, the biggest thing to come out of it was the introduction of the Time Stone. There's another Infinity Stone. They're all we're starting to find them all. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I think we've seen all five now. Like the sixth one, we don't see till Infinity War, which is the Soul Stone. We've seen the Ether, we've seen the Time Stone, we've seen the Tesseract, which is the pa not the Power Stone, the Space Stone. We've seen the Power Stone in Guardians of the Galaxy, and we've seen the Mind Stone in Vision. So we've seen the other five. We haven't seen the Soul Stone yet, but we won't see it till Infinity War. But so that's like we've seen the final one. We know where they all are in the universe. So that that's a pretty significant. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed it, again, like, comment, subscribe. Again, let me know down below, what did you think of Doctor Strange? Hey, you could love it. You could have your reasons. Let me know down in the comments. We can chat about it, have a good talk about it. Hey, you may change my mind. I may not have seen something that you saw and you like. 
let's chat about it. I'd love to talk to you guys in the comments about it. But guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We will see you on Wednesday for Movie Review Wednesday. And we'll see you in another video.